it. Good afternoon, everyone, or evening, or morning, depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. We have Marley Giardo here with us this afternoon for the second day in a row. So this is fantastic. Hi. We didn't scare you off. No. You yeah, did you not. came back. This is <laughs> I nice. Did. I did. And not to worry, she did bring her cool glasses. Bam. Mm -hmm. There they are. Ha <laughs> ha. Because. Uh, welcome everyone, Mitch and Tim and Aaron and Miriam and everyone. This is fantastic. We have a fun day, actually. You don't know this yet, I don't think. What? Uh, but essentially today we have a contest, and the contest today, instead of emojis, which was yesterday, today it's all about avatars. So creating a digital representation oh. of you or me or someone on the stream. Oh, no. They submit those. Again, there's just the contest tab. Okay. They can draw you if they want. They'll submit it via the form for a chance yeah. to win Creative Cloud. Because you're just saying how you, you've you yeah, never drawn I, a self-portrait, and you probably have. Like in high school, yeah. Like a, yeah, like maybe that. Teachers assign you, but I no, I don't really use myself as. Did we just make you really nervous right yeah. now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, either way, that's kind of what's going on, contest. We'll have also just a random giveaway in about an hour, and we're just going to have some fun and uh, kind of watch you illustrate in Illustrator, all a vector today, so this is super cool. And, of course, special thanks to uh, Julia and Kathleen, who just stepped off. They did. We kind of have a space theme going on the first two sessions today is what oh, happened, which was kind yeah. of fun. I wish I had done something space-like. Hey, you are good. Well, and it's interesting because, yeah, they they ended up with the space theme kind of randomly, kind of worked out. But I know even Justin this morning was inspired by what you did yesterday. Oh. So even, and that's what you have up on your screen, yeah. if we can take a look at it. Um, this is what you created yesterday. So, Moonir, what's up, buddy? So do you got, Donna, do you like this? I don't know who joined us yesterday or who's new. Uh, Alyssa, I don't know if you're new here as well, but this is what we made yesterday. Simple. We. I didn't do any of it. <laughs> it was <kind> of <laughs> I'm just like the moral support. <laughs> uh, but Coca, this is awesome. So again, just kind of starting with that illustration. Uh, that again, just done in pencil. Just, just sent it to yourself. Dropped it into Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop. Illustrator. Sorry. <sighs> Uh, you did <laughs> do, did you do a little Photoshop in the end of there, did, tweaking yeah. colors? I, I, I tend to tweak things on Photoshop in the end. Yeah. So this is really fun, and uh, I, think, I think it turned out great. And uh, you should post this at some point. I don't know yeah, if it's there yeah, yet. I was hoping to have like the, the set. And okay. Then, and then post gotcha. And where can people follow you on social on media? Instagram. Instagram. What's your yeah. Instagram name? Marley Gallardo. Easy enough. Yep. So you can get that's basic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We and, and by the way, we just have everybody has cool accents today. You know, between yourself and Julia, it makes me sick. You think I have an accent? <laughs> yes, you do. You have I, a little bit of an accent. I've lived here since I was three. But oh, you do kind yeah. of have like. Well, I, I wasn't allowed to speak English at home. Oh, up. English that's is it. For school, was it just Spanish? Spanish is for a house. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And prior to the U.S. You're, you're Ecuadorian? I'm Ecuadorian, yes. Right on. The coast. Yes, very cool. So, Laura, welcome. I love the colors and composition as well. Just curious where you guys, if there's anybody else. Oh, yeah. Heli Siod is from, oh, yeah. is from Ecuador as well. Hi, you guys. So, saludos. Saludos. <laughs> Hermoso. Hermoso, is that like Hermoso br is brother? Like beautiful. Oh, it's like cool. very beautiful. Nice. Yeah. I'm with Paula. Hey, hello, you all. Hello from Detroit. I've never been to Detroit. I want to visit. I heard there's like a, a big booming art scene there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poland. Poland. Deanna, yeah, Poland in the house. Annie from Sweden, good to Snota. see you. <laughs> Minnesota. Oh, very clever. I've never, I haven't heard that before yet. Uh, Marley, yes. Colombia. Uh, Laura's from Colombia, Bogota, Netherlands, Oregon, just north of us. Wow. We're in uh, San Are Francisco, oh, Guatemala. Guatemala. I, was, I was there. Yeah? Yeah, that's where uh, I met so many amazing uh, designers there for a conference. Oh, that's cool. And you actually spent some time, and you probably posted some of that on Instagram, but uh, just a little shout out to your Instagram. You mentioned it a second ago, but here's a lot of your work. If we can just kind of, I just want to be your hype man for a second. 
Uh, here you are, Marley, Gallardo, oh, so two L's. <laughs> but I know you took some time off between, I don't know, graduating and... I did. Didn't you take a summer off and then just did illustrations and posted to Instagram for yeah. a bit? Yeah, I did. Um, I graduated in 2015 from RISD and then I... Um, I didn't really know what I was gonna do with a BFA, mm. um, and my father gifted to me a ticket, a one one way ticket to Ecuador, and he's like, you know, just figure it out, or mm. come back when you feel like it. And um, I went, and I just started making work and posting it on Instagram and chilling in my hammock, and mm -hmm. and then I came back after I, I got a couple of clients asking me for work, and then I thought, okay, maybe I can do this. Yeah, yeah, no, that's really cool. And essentially, kind of what you were doing there is like building your portfolio too. Yeah, yeah, I took some time to just figure out what what I wanted to say because I graduated my school with a portfolio, as everyone does, but mm -hmm. um, uh, it was mostly um, class assignments, and it wasn't a portfolio I felt really said what I wanted to work in. Okay. Um, so you can't. I, I, I talked about this at my alma mater. Um, Oh my, is that how you yeah. say it? Alma mater, yeah. Mater, alma mater. Uh, I think in November, um, how you can't really uh, expect to be working in what you want to do if your portfolio is not reflecting it. Yeah, exactly. So the, the whole idea of your portfolio is like, don't you don't just put the work you did, you, you put the work that you want to do, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the whole idea. So that's really cool. you can be cool. selective about it. You don't have to put everything in it. That's good. All right, very cool. So again, up at the top, scroll through this. You can do that all day long, Marley <laughs> Gallardo. Since we have you here live in the flesh, we want to kind of, I guess, uh, get to work and see what the plan is for today. Yeah. That works for you. Yes, we do know you're from Bangladesh. We heard you about 15 times. Thanks. <laughs> no. We, we, we Hi. Saw like, that's Hi. enough. Appreciate <laughs> no. it. <laughs> but I, I think this is going to be fun. So this is your illustration from yesterday. Yes. Hopefully, you'll do. You maybe do a composite and post Instagram maybe yeah. by the end of the week. Uh, what's the plan for today then? What do you think? Today's saying? plan is boom, boom. this one. Um, so I just have um, a, a, a figure looking off into the distance and uh, some indications of some plants maybe. Um, and then here it's just, um, I, I photographed, a, what, I photographed a, a separate drawing of an ear just to have that detail there. Um, okay. I have it in my sketchbook. Yeah. Uh, and um, I put this in the bottom layer, the sketch. Then I have some references, uh, just for shirts and plants might use. And then uh, that one's locked as well. And then um, I have my layer where it's mostly all the work is gonna go. Okay, very cool. And I, I saw Justin does this, Justin did this earlier, is mm -hmm. he will actually not show the, um, artboard bounds. I don't know if you ever do that. Do you know the what I'm talking about? Bounds. So right up here, if we go up to just right up here under view, yeah. hide artboard, sorry, it's hide artboards. So what that does is it just gives you a big oh. light. No. <laughs> no, sorry, no. okay, just pointing it out. This lady goes there. Uh, like I said, Thank that's you, a horrible though. idea. <laughs> you don't want to do that, but that's there. Oh. <laughs> um, so this is a good question, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Coca mentions if you prefer to have full creative freedom or some, some like restraints for a project. Oh, uh, restraints actually. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because if I'm left to my own, doing, you'll just, just sit there and just be like, I, I just start adding shapes, and it just gets really abstract, and yeah. and it just gets really cluttered. Um, yeah. But I no, I I, I like to. Um, I like to work with clients, and I, I like them to just give me some direction. Yeah. But I, I will be, um, what is the word, restrained? Restrained to the palette I use. Okay. Yeah, that's something that I'm... Yeah, okay, that's good. And that's actually what Justin did earlier today. He he constrained himself to only three colors. Oh, wow. It did just like amazing work. That's it's intense, like really cool. three colors. So one day he did all gradients. Mm -hmm. The next, like this morning he did just three colors. Yeah. And it's a, it still was, was really so beautiful. The, awesome. Uh, the circles and then the, 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 the ship the sh Yeah, the spaceship. Away. Yeah. It was like way cool. So much cool. motion happened Yeah, it was one. really cool. 
Uh, but I agree with you because even like something like this, we ask you to come in today and just kind of, you know, just have fun. That can be kind of daunting because it could mean anything. But it's good that you have some a subject matter here. And uh, Natalia is wondering where do you find your color palette? Um, I it's very influenced by by the music I I, I listen to. Um, I, I tend to like moody palettes, um, moody and romantic, almost. Uh, twilight time. I a lot of blues. This is my favorite yeah. color. Yeah. Blue and blue and pink. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just follow your Instagram. There it all is. <laughs> I was inspired by your look. Mine's. I'm wearing kind of like a pink that is shirt. A beautiful pink. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, beautiful. and this is actually blue. So uh, it's funny because I, I thought I'd match your artwork <laughs> today, and it kind of works. I. Uh, I mostly wear just black, so I... You do. Yeah. As a true designer, as you should. <laughs> as a New Yorker. <laughs> as a New Yorker. Cool <laughs> self. All right. All right, cool. And yeah. So, you just continue to work and act like close to 500 people are not watching every single move you make. Mm. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Hey, we know you're used to working in your little yeah. Brooklyn apartment. Yeah. Wherever there is sun, <laughs> by yourself, all alone. and we're gonna put you know almost five hundred people peering over your shoulder. <laughs> no big deal. Not at <laughs> all. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, you know, and again, these the palettes could come from anywhere. Um, if you are looking for something, and I think somebody mentioned this last hour, but you can go to color.adobe.com uh, if you're just oh, looking. Is that the palette? The, yeah, oh, I this love is that. Where, I love that. That's how I got the idea to start doing my own little palettes and screenshotting them. Okay. From that, like I remember when they introduced that to me, and can't remember when high school maybe. It was yeah. blew my mind. It used to be called Cooler. Cooler, but now it's color.adobe.com. Uh, yeah, if you could just share my screen, and that'll give you a mm -hmm. second to kind of do that. So. So you can go through and explore themes. If you, you want to switch to my screen real fast. Thank you, sir. It's taking a little while to load. I think that the big thing is what you're doing is you're, you're selecting um, complementary colors. Like you're, you have warm colors and then you yeah. have cool colors. Yeah, I like it's working what you're with, doing. with both. Yeah. And I think that's, you naturally do that, but um, you know, that's essentially what's happening. So complementary, obviously we can pick those different colors and you can see what happens there. Uh, if you wanna split them, there's also split complementary. Uh, I think sports uses complementary colors. Yeah, exactly. Really, because when you combine these uh, mm -hmm. palettes, uh, it, it's really bold. Yeah. We, got, we have LA Lakers, we have Christmas. <laughs> what is this, Miami Dolphins? Denver Broncos. Hey, Denver. You get the idea. Ooh, good job, Laura. Uses Adobe Capture, which will allow you to capture colors, too. Which is cool. Adobe Capture. Oh, by the way, like, if you're using Capture to capture a live scene and capture the colors there, Laura, you could do the same thing on color.adobe.com. You can load up an image, and it will sample the, ty the five most prominent colors in that photo, which is kind of cool. That's cool, yeah. Or you can do what I do, <laughs> and it's what? put it into Adobe, and then uh, oh, yeah. you, into you, Illustrator, you then, do you then vectorize, it vectorize it? it in a low, yeah. lo-fi, and then you, and then I have the color. You're hilarious. I love, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I like going to color.adobe.com because it breaks everything down into, you know, you learn what triad colors are, you know, different shades of colors, and just kind of makes it so you don't screw up colors, I think, it's kind of the thing. I love working with color. Um, I, I, I think uh, in the last session they were mentioning that some people work in, in black and white in, and then add color. I, I could never. <laughs> yeah. I like... Well, yeah. That's so crazy to me that someone can do that, that they could just work in black and white. I, it reminds me of um, when I had to work in charcoal mm -hmm. uh, in college. It was not you, my favorite that's thing. That's so interesting. That is, that's pretty interesting. 
Uh, Denise, or is that Dennis? I'm not sure you say that, but are you using a mouse or a Wacom, or what are you using? I'm using my fingers and my trackpad. Yep. Um, I prefer my trackpad. I'm uh, not a fan of uh, using additional things um, just because of mobility. Yeah. And I notice you use, you're, you're also using, you're navigating with your middle finger, like um, not necessarily even your pointer finger. Oh, do people do use you? their point, the index to navigate? Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So Marley's basically using her middle finger since it's a little longer. Yeah. And you, on oh, yeah, her trackpad. Yeah, and then you click, yeah. navigate, and then click. And then you click with your yeah. pointer. All right, that's cool. Someone pointed out recently, because um, I have I have a really hard time with chopsticks, um, and I feel like, you know, so many people can use them. Why why do I have such a hard time? Um, and then someone pointed out that I hold my pencil differently. Um, that I, I, I oh, hold it on this one. Really? So yeah, and I don't hold it on the middle finger. So. Uh, Hmm. People tend to like think of how they use a, a yeah, pencil like a to pencil. hold a chopstick. Yeah. How interesting. Hello, Philip from Germany. Good to have you here. I know it's later on in the evening there, so appreciate you. So, yes. So Ryan Ford actually uses his middle finger, or his, yeah, his middle finger as well. To navigate? Yeah. Sweet. That's cool. Um, we noticed Justin did that a lot earlier too. He doesn't. He doesn't. He has a mouse there, but he hardly touched it. Oh. Too. And he used a lot of shortcuts, so it's interesting. Same program, just using it differently. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, like so many people use uh, the trackpad mm -hmm. as well, and um, same program, but then how different everyone's work looks. Yeah. Miguel from uh, Venezuela. Latin America is showing up for you. I know. It's kind of nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> South America. Nice. Yeah, very cool. So we still have the contest going on. Create an avatar. Just select that contest tab. That's where you'll find out all that info. And essentially, just make an avatar of Marley here or anyone <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> and uh, in about an hour and 15 minutes, we'll pick a winner. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh yeah, what's the color of the year? What colors are trending at the moment, Kevin asks. But the color of the year, how come on, you, what is it? Isn't it, I can't remember. What color is the? Pantone the, picks like a color of the year. Isn't it a, is it a blue? But don't they decide that at the end of the year? No? Or they pick one in the beginning of the year and the end of the year? Uh, ultraviolet, is that it? Oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I, color of the year is ultraviolet. Um, I saw that. Uh, I saw a post of that. There we go. Donna basically has it. Awesome. I have to change the. I'm. I'm I keep losing my points, so I have yeah. to change the. No, thank you for doing that. Cause it makes it's, it easier. It's it's making it hard. Is that? Can well, you when see you that change really? it, it makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Better. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. I wonder who gets to decide that. Like, how do they decide what the color of the year is? Oh. Is it because it was used so much, or? One year uh, it was a really ugly green. I, was, I did not like it at all. <clears throat> I will tell you why. I mean, it's just a trending color. Oh. Uh, it communicates originality, ingenuity, and visionary thinking, according, according to the executive director from the Pantone So just Institute. the executive director picks a color? I guess so. Ah, and I said, okay. hey, this is the color. I, mean, I would have hey, thought. Aaron. Aaron Gallagher likes. Aaron, it's good to see you, by the way. We, she's an awesome illustrator. She's been on the stream oh, with us before. Cool. Hi. And, by the way, she says it's the best color. That's also the color of her hair, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is awesome. So welcome, Aaron. Good to see you. I had, I had blue hair. And Voodoo Val, we see you down there. Hi there. Hmm. Does that happen to be ultraviolet too? Maybe. 
Voodoo, Voodoo purple. purple. Oh yeah! Wow, what an amazing name. That's. Uh, that's I love it. when colors well, have it, a great name. That's also like Voodoo that. Val. It's Voodoo, Voodoo. Val. It's Voodoo, <laughs> and uh, that's yeah, that's next level <laughs> purple. I was or I was violet. in New Orleans and trying to find like uh, like Voodoo museums and things like that. Mm -hmm. I, I I didn't have enough time. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is very cool. And it's also known as a very um, royal color, purple. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it's it's hard to make, mm -hmm. and for a while it was just like really tough to get a hold of, and yeah. So uh, I I read they, that uh, people thought Caesar was so pompous to to wear purple. Oh really? Uh, yeah, and that's when like his ego was getting huge. Yeah, I'm surprised purple isn't used more often. Mm. Like well, maybe because people don't want to come across as pompous or as, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> purple combines the so calm stability of blue and the fierce energy of red. Wow. Wow, that's pretty intense. Who wrote Ooh, that? I don't know. So I just found that on. Uh, that sounds like uh, like something you'd read when you're when you're looking up your zodiac. Right. Yeah, I like to to look up yeah. horoscopes a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, there's also, and I don't know if Pantone produces it, but I ran across across a book one one time, and it was uh, whatever color is you based on your birth date. Oh. And it said you are this color, what and was, here's your person. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shows you how much that stuff matters to me. I keep it in mind. Oh, actually, I did. I did look up something like that once, and I was told purple and gold, okay. which is funny because I mm, never really wear the colors. That's good stuff. Hmm. Let's see. Don't do it. No. Miguel is uh, loves the color blue. Yay. Which is true, as we know, most people's favorite color is blue. Yeah, mine it as is well. The the number one color in the world. It must have something to do with just like the sky. Are you looking up the facts? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure it is something like that. Yeah. You know, blue blue says tranquility. It's safe when there's blue skies. It's good when there's blue out in the distance. That might be a water source. So it has endless positive connotations to it. Um, so anyway, but Laura likes red, as wow. noted by your fancy scarf in your avatar. Red, Black such a such a seductive color, I think. So but this is always interesting. So it's like there's colors that you like to design with, then there's other colors that you wear, and then yeah. you might have a favorite color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Like, I don't like to work in with black that much, but I'd love to wear it. Yeah. Um, and I love blues and, and pinks, but I don't really wear them that much. Um, and I like to eat green food, but I don't like that color. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, all those warm tones are very appetizing. So those, a lot of restaurants will have colors that are found, maybe not necessarily, actually isn't green an appetite suppressant, the green color, hmm. but we know orange and red and yellow are warm and stuff like that. So who knows? There's psychology behind all of that. We could spend a whole I think hour someone mentioned that blue doesn't pop up in nature much. Besides the sky. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, like, I don't even know if or even like, purple. Even food. Yeah. There's some kind of purple, I guess, with grapes. I don't know if it's really purple, but it's a, something. All right, you're just kind of working away there. We're talking about color. Mm -hmm. Blue is an appetite suppressant. Natasha, thank you. Um, An appetite suppress. What does that mean? Appetite suppressant. Uh, you know, it means that you it doesn't make it you may, hungry. It doesn't make you hungry. Oh, yeah, suppresses yeah. your appetite. <laughs> yeah. So I spend 
I think 90% of my time just curving. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're noticing this and actually um, Rob's talking about that. How are you taking the rough pen shape to pulling handles to round it out? How are you rounding out those handles? Um, what are you switching to? Are you just using, you're using direct selection? Yeah. And let's just say you needed to curve that line right around the neck or some, or right there. Okay, so this? Yeah, go ahead and... Okay. See, I don't know what I'm really doing. You're, <laughs> I'm just you're doing selecting the, yeah. the anchor select tool, <laughs> which would be you do shift C. Is that okay. what you're pressing? Uh, yeah, shift C. Shift C gives you the direct, the, the anchor uh, selection tool, anchor point tool. And That's then I click A to. to move around that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then V to for the whole object. Let's see. <laughs> Is the song playing by that Apple fellow? <laughs> you are correct. It's Andrew Apple Pie. Why apple pie? Ah, he just likes it. <laughs> That's the only reason. I just like apple pie. Andrew Apple Pie, what is That's the musician. That's the, oh, the okay. artist uh, playing the music behind us. <laughs> I just love that. You know, there's no deep meaning to it. It's just like I, li I like his Apple Pie. His name is, is, is that? That's his is... DJ name or his, oh, his okay. uh, you know. Cool, cool. Andrew name apple is a musician. Pie. I didn't have Apple Pie till I went to college. It was yeah. so delicious, yeah. yeah. I didn't grow up with, um, with pies, but I grew up with flan. Oh, okay. um, and is flan big in Ecuador? Is like an Ecuadorian cuisine? It, like a South in? American, I okay. think, or or Latin. Just I'm not sure about Central America, but um, I, 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 it always intrigued me when I saw it in in TV. But mm -hmm. I never wanted to buy my first apple pie from like any store. I yeah. wanted it homemade, so I waited up until Thanksgiving or something. Someone made it, and and you're like, yeah. This and you had it. It. This is what I waited for. You had for it straight so for seven days or something. <laughs> or you at oh, least. I had a pecan pie for almost two weeks and then I can't really eat it anymore. Yeah, it, I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I but boy, was it, it delicious. My, yeah, <laughs> but at the time, <laughs> boy, did I love it. Mm. And I think it was like some Trader Joe's one that I, I just, it was so good. Hey, and that works. That works. But again, you're just using sort of like three shortcuts is all that you've mentioned. Huh. Um, I guess so. Which totally works. Yeah, seriously. You, you named the three tools that you use. You use selection tool, direct selection, your anchor point tool. Yeah. Those are key. I, of course, the pen tool, sorry. I, I'm, I'm like easily flustered by a lot of things and a lot of options as well. Mm -hmm. I, I hate picking where to eat or something like that. Um, so... I I just I kind of just stick to like basic mm -hmm. five tools and that's it. And I think that's why I can't really uh, do um, like Maya or Cinema 4D or things like that. I, I just well, I mean, I I think you can. And <laughs> I know you're. Oh, just, thank you. You're kind of working out this simply today, but I know yesterday you were doing some 3D in Illustrator. Yeah. A fair amount of 3D, mind you. Yeah, so. it's it. I find it very simple, Shoot. like the, the options that are on Illustrator. No, oh, that's good. It's like we're, it sounds like we're getting some entries in. Switch over, don't get, don't switch to me just yet, but we do have a contest going on, so I'm gonna check those out. Hmm. Yeah, do you ever? It's, it's funny how you get hooked on something. Yeah. You know, you're like, I have to have that. I can't wait to. We've been having Phil's coffee at least the past two mornings. What is Phil's coffee? Phil's, Phil's with a Z. It's here in the Bay Phil's. Area. Uh -huh. And I'm sorry I didn't, like, I, <laughs> I mean, you don't, if you would have come in the morning, I could bring you one. Mm, just but it's, hang it's out coffee here. with mint and cardamom. It actually has mint leaves in it and cardamom. Mint in my and coffee. And it sounds crazy, hmm. but it's delicious. So hmm. there's that. I'm a little hesitant, but... Agreed. <laughs> and it's even better iced, but we've been getting it hot since it's kind of cold out. Um, so. It's it's crazy to me how, um, how uh, much coffee is changing. 
uh, when it was just, it's so simple before just, you know, brewing these beans. And now, what is it? Starbucks was offering some rainbow pink, pink coffee. Oh. <laughs> this blue really? pink coffee with mm. sprinkles. That's kind of crazy. I know, it is. They're just, you know, they just got to bring people in. They need something to talk about to bring people in. Mm -hmm. I think the creator of it, whoever made it, hates it. Oh. Yeah. He's, oh, you're talking he, about the uh, rainbow frappuccino. Yeah, yeah, oh, Okay, yeah. gotcha. I remember that. Aaron is a Phil's fan. It's awesome. I need to find a good coffee shop around here. I haven't, uh, I was at a, Ooh. what was it, Blue Bottle or something yeah. around around my area here, but um, it was so full, I couldn't I couldn't work. And they didn't have Wi-Fi, I was like, oh God. Oh, the place was too busy. Too busy and no Wi-Fi. And no Wi-Fi. Yeah, I need to find a nice coffee shop in San Fran to like chill um, and work. Okay. Um, I'll have to think about that and <laughs> I'll have to talk. Cause you are, um, Blue Bottle is like one of the best places to go. And yeah, sorry, yeah, I go ones. to it in, in, in Brooklyn. My oh, friend okay. showed it to me, so. Very nice. Thank you for submitting your entries. Just kind of getting those scored away. Natalia, Juliana, Dan. Thank you, thank you. Pete's coffee is also popular. Donna Tracy, you're you're right. I think a lot of people here like Pete's. Pete's. Yeah. Pete's coffee. And yeah, so Marley's just using her trackpad. Uh, someone showed me uh, that if you hold shift down, the the when you're curving, um, it'll stay straight. And that, that just changed my world. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. When you hold, if you hold down shift. Shift, yeah. It says straight rather oh, than going like this. It. Yeah, <coughs> yeah agreed. Here's another thing you can do. <clears throat> well, you kind of have a shape already drawn. Um, yeah, we can talk about little tips for a bit. I can't wait to use the, um, forgot that the tool's name, um, but it, it uh, it blends things very nicely. You you were showing, you were talking oh, about blend it. Oh, blend tool. Yeah, I can't wait to start using that one. I'll have to like do some exercises on my own. No, you're all it. good. Mm -hmm. Um, if we can switch to my screen real fast, I mean this this might be helpful. So I'm just using the pen tool. So we'll click, you know, click and drag, click and drag. I'm gonna put another click right here. Oh no, I didn't mean to put that down. Yeah. I didn't mean to. I don't have to delete. I can have the space bar. So I haven't let up on my mouse, but I could hit the space bar and I'll pick up that point. So I just hit the space bar and I'll pick it up, right? And then I can continue and say, okay, that's where I want it. And even without, wow. I'm not even changing yeah. the, I'm still on the pen tool, but I'm like, oh, this curve kind of bothers me down yeah. here. I can hold on the option key and then I can say, okay, adjust this or adjust this. So I'm adjusting this line before I'm even done drawing with the pen. So you could always switch to this curvature is what you're doing. This yeah. will give you this nice curvature tool as you work. And by the way, if I double click or if you forget this, can I double click? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Oops. Um, so for some space. of the tools, if you just like double click on the actual tool, you'll be yeah. able to get the different options for it. I should have been able to do that with the pen tool. When it's when it's still an open shape, when it's not, I, if I close it down and yeah, I can't. do you want do you want the curvature? Do you want to try? Do you want to hold down the? You still have the pen, right? So this is curve. Go uh, select the like maybe the most common tool. Okay, cool. And you're and used space. to manipulating those bezier points, which mm -hmm. is great, or bezier. Uh, hold down the option key and just roll over the line. Roll over just the the line in between those two points. Okay. I think it has to be open. Maybe. Yeah, and actually has to be with the pen tool. Mm. All right. So. 
I put this one and then no, nope. I'll figure it out later. Ah, oh, your new best friend Christopher says there's a crazy amount of talent in this chat. You're exactly right. Really? Yeah, we just have a lot of talented people in the chat and on the stream mm. as well. But they're basically everywhere. This guy. Mm. <laughs> I'm a hack. Oh, people were so nice. Um, they reached out to me on Instagram. I try to get back to everyone um, in their messages. And okay. I, I ended up uh, meeting uh, the artist who made one of the posters, uh, Rob. I think. Oh, Rob Zilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Rob was like, Jenner oh, Rob, the third? poster Rob. <laughs> yeah, that's the Rob, the poster Rob. Yeah. You're exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, Rob's way cool. Rob Zilla, we've had him on the stream. He's a good friend of Adobe's. And uh, he has worked on, he's been using uh, Adobe Illustrator Draw. So he's using Apple Pencil and basically using Illustrator that's like on the iPad, like a simplified Illustrator oh, on the I, iPad. There is some um, Illustrator for iPads because I'm considering buying an iPad, but then I thought, do yeah. I really want it if I don't have, uh, if it, it doesn't use uh, Illustrator? Because yeah. I understand Photoshop with a pen and all, but. Yeah, and it, I think it takes some getting used to. If you reach yeah. out to Rob, I think he'll be really helpful. Oh, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. the nicest guy ever. I will. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he, and he just kind of, you know, he, this would actually kind of serve you well because, I mean, you could just do a number of things with it, but he kind of works the same way where he might sketch or have some photo references mm -hmm. and then over the top of it, he draws over it just okay. like you're doing. Uh, thank you, Glenn McDaniel. Yeah, curious. Thank you, Val. Wonder if there's anybody new in chat. Let us know. We definitely have some new submissions that we will review here in a second. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, Tim asks if this is gonna be a gradient piece. Are you gonna use gradients? Yeah, yeah. I try to, um, for me, gradients is something that I use um, to layer over foundation shapes, and then I add an effect to the gradient. Okay. Yeah, rather than starting off with just gradients. So I'll overlay a gradient over a, a whole piece. So like, it might be the entire figure, and mm -hmm. then I make the entire figure into a shape and I add gradients to that shape and then overlay it. Very cool. Um, yeah, Kevin's asking if you use 3D. I don't think you're really using any 3D, at 3D? least not for a um, bit today. Not today, not today. Maybe I'll add some things to it. And this piece you're working on is gonna be a two-day piece, right? It is, it is, yeah. Today, um, it's, it's this uh, character looking off into the distance and kind of doing more of the foreground. And then tomorrow I'm going to focus on what he's looking at. Okay. It's gonna be I like it. Cliff don't don't tell yeah, us. Yeah, I won't say. Anything. We got a cliffhanger going. <laughs> like, what is he looking at? Yeah. Like, is he amazed by what he sees? What is it? Is it the Death Star? Is it something <laughs> from Star Wars? Or I don't know. Somebody's ears just perked up over there. Uh, but uh, Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars fans stuff. Here? Talking about Star Wars. I haven't seen the new one. I, I mean, I, I saw the one that came out. What was it, like two years ago? Or what? Yeah, the, the uh, second Rogue One or the, oh, what's the one before that, that, Val? Force Awakens. Force, Force Awakens, Awakens. Thank Yeah, you. I saw that one. I haven't seen the latest one. Carrie Fisher's last one, right? Uh, this past one was, yeah. Yeah, so um, we can show some of these entries, by the way. So uh, right here we have, uh, this is from the... Amazing. I like the color. Danilo Cos, C O S S E. Not sure. This actually, um, 
this could be, I don't know if this is you or what, but this is, this is actually just great to work on. So those are great to look at. This could be Julia is what I'm saying. I'm not, what did Julia's hair? She had her hair up in a bun. So this actually might be you, but they might, they're missing the glasses. No, so let I, us know I just who put it them is. on right now. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I, I, so, I like the, um, how the, it, there's like a gradient right, right there. Yeah, it kind of right gives here. it like, uh, uh, it, turns, it turns darker at the edge. And then yeah. lighter, there it makes it look like a mm -hmm. sphere. Yeah, that's really, really cool. good. It has like it has volume to it right yeah. down here. It does great with volume, and I like how they did these stars with mm -hmm. rounded corners. Which again, we can kind of talk about how to make that. That's super cool. So Danilo, great job. Yeah. Yashai Sutton. That's I guess you. they're working on me. He did a screen capture and. We yeah, pretty by just you. insert any white boy here. Yeah, that's what I look like. <laughs> I look like the average white boy. Hey, we need a white boy. Get, let's get Paul. He's a, just a, like your standard white boy. Oh, there Julia. we go. Here's Julia. Great job. She kind of had her hair up into a bun like this. So that's fantastic. And yeah. look at that. Disney little uh, Mickey Mouse there. So some of these might not have been covered last oh. uh, session. Yeah. So that's why they're just rolling in. That one's really cute. And they put her in like some kind of... Juliana. Yeah, because she was working on aliens oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So this is super fun. And I think even the the nose you might be, that's kind of weird, but actually it makes it kind of unique mm -hmm. too. So sure. This is a nice smirk. Yeah, Natalia. Okay, there we go. Kathleen. There's Kathleen and Julia. So again, they might have shown these earlier. I don't know. But either way, this is a fantastic, yeah. fantastic uh, avatar. So Laura. We did just get on, so we'll see. There might not be. There I am. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's I actually fair. do. I actually do have a Christmas sweater. That's all crazy. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know how they did the uh, how she did the. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Ooh, here's Nightbot Gus. He's not in the room right now, but this is this is. Um, Adobe Live Team, one of the many members on Adobe Live Team. Uh, really, there's only one Gus. And he's, <laughs> he does it all. Kind of reminds me of like a Rick and Morty sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, I was trying it? to think of what character it, it reminded me of. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Rick and Morty. So it was super fun. Thank you so much for submitting those. We'll just kind of review them as they come through. 472 Gus bots. That's right. Hard at work. I think... Uh, I think Gus number one went to check on the other 471, which is why he's not here. Yeah, Laura. <laughs> the Gus Bot 2000. The Gus Bot. Let's see. Gus is a mad scientist. And I think we'll even do. In about 20 minutes, we'll just do a, a fun giveaway, just because we can. More posters? You're really good at drawing. I think this is such a tough angle to draw a face at this three-quarter view, like from the back. I think that's a tough, really? that's kind of a, a tough angle. I um, I think my least favorite is a front. Like yeah. this, I, I, I don't like it, mm -hmm. um, just because of the, the shadows. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to kind of make things 3D when you're just staring at it like this. But yeah. as soon as you turn it to a three-point, or even mm -hmm. a portrait, or something, what is it? I don't even know what I I, what this I call might the three-quarter like back view. Oh, really? Uh, I thought this was three-point. That is three-quarters, but oh, I'm saying like kind of from that oh, back okay, angle okay. is like that back view yeah. three-quarter. Maybe it's one quarter. But I think you do a good job of, and I'm sorry, is it okay just to flip through this a little bit? Yeah. You know? You can continue to work, don't mind me, but I think you do a good job of drawing lighting instead of like shapes. That's what I noticed yesterday from your sketchbook, which is exactly where this came from, you know? You can continue to work, don't mind me. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, um, I'm, I'm not often sure if there's um. Uh, anatomy no. uh, studies in there. There are there are some, <laughs> yes, but you know we're like, also um... we're also adults here. Yeah, too, okay. By the way. I mean, okay. we're adults. Yeah, we can go ahead and 
All right, so yeah, Aaron. So again, just having fun here. That's totally cool. Again, tough a tough angle you're drawing right here, which is cool. Uh, this is of course a jazz scene looked at yesterday, which is just really cool. Um, super fun. This is after you had a couple cocktails there at the, <laughs> at the bar, a couple gin martinis. These I like too. Uh, that's on a commission I'm working on. On a commission that she's working on that she can't talk about. It's top secret. <laughs> um, but if anyone still, recognizes these are, these the artist, straight cool. on views, and you're you're not drawing an eye as a circle and lips as tubes. You're drawing all of the lighting that interacts with these shapes. So you can definitely tell that you're a trained illustrator. At least you fake it really well. Yeah, I think I fake it really well. <laughs> And I love how you worked in this like this blue pencil. I don't know if you like this, like Christopher and Donna, Voodoo Val. If you like this, again, this just like a little bit of color makes it kind of fun. That was Christmas. Christmas time. At the diner with my roommate. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. <laughs> Aww. He's like, what are we doing here at a diner on Christmas Eve? People I'm don't saying. like to model for me. <laughs> They're like, again, Marley? Like, uh, do I have to? <laughs> what is, these are people on their phones. Uh, uh, obviously, a uh, sort of uh, concept you're working on for something. Yeah, commission. <laughs> <A little> commission. <laughs> All right. Sorry if, if this is, you're feeling the motion. Oh my gosh, As you guys are looking pages. through my diary. I'm really Visit. sorry, but this is what happens when you come on the stream, I'm, uh, you, you turn over all I'm very personal information <laughs> to us. I'm pretty sloppy with my, I, I'm, I'm not one to keep, I used to be very uh, detailed oriented in my sketchbook, but now I just find that uh, it's just kind of foundation, quick sketch mm -hmm. to get the juices going and then I, I leave the details for Adobe uh, Illustrator. Yeah, no, that's cool. And then here we are today again, kind of working on the ear. Nice volume there. This is kind of where we end up. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to look through all your other personal stuff <laughs> while you do that. Day one streaming was really fun. The people <laughs> were nice. I had this amazing, uh, amazing host with me. He was so nice and uh, kind of annoying. <laughs> oh. End of diary. How, did, did you keep <laughs> diaries? Uh, no. No. I, I should though. That's kind of what I think this is. By the way, this is being recorded for you are you are being immortalized in video right now. Oh. And uh, <laughs> just like yesterday, it's available on demand. Don't go there right now, but you could watch this at any point in the future. So. I, I am kind of jealous of people born sort of in the 90s on up or like in the 2000s. Yeah. They have such a rich catalog of information, of selfies, of parents, you know, of digital photographs and everything. That might be good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's like a rich catalog yeah, of yeah. them growing up. Um, my, my baby brother, uh, I, don't use, I don't allow him to have social media. Okay. Uh, for the longest time I didn't uh, let him. Um, and now, now he's at the age, he's 13 now, so he can. And um, I told him, I'm like, yeah, you know, like, all right, post what you want to. Just just don't post selfies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> don't post selfies. Yeah, like, don't, 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 do, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> what I think is funny is that, like, why is it if you're ever on, like, FaceTime or something like that, mm -hmm. whenever you're on FaceTime, you're not really looking at the other person as much as you are at yourself. <laughs> like, how do I look as I talk to this other person? Oh. Is it true? Um, it's kind of true a little bit. Yeah, here and there, yeah. You're like, because you, you would know when myself. somebody's looking at themselves yeah. and not talking yeah, to you. Yeah, it's hard. Well, actually, it's not hard here because the microphone is like directly covering me. Oh, that right screen, over there. So like I really can't yeah. see myself, yeah. It's a whole If it wasn't thing. here, then I would be staring at myself. <laughs> <laughs> like is there lipstick in your teeth or anything? That's That's been like my worst fear that, that I might teeth. have lipstick in my teeth while we're doing these. <laughs> oh, funny. Um, so yeah, Laura, I can load up your, load up that image again. 
Is this correct, Laura? I'm re reloading it. Is that correct? I still look like a crazy person that you don't want to meet at a Christmas party, <laughs> by the way. The eyes are a little bit too big. When you see that much, when you see the whole pupil, it makes you look a little bit crazy. But I think you did a fantastic job of, uh, you know, giving me mostly like brown hair and not gray, mainly. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, Gary V. Oh, good reference. Gary Vanerchuk, or however you say that. Who's that? He's like, and well, right now he's kind of more of an inspirational speaker. Um, but he started a an online like wine business. He used to have a liquor store with his parents that he took over from his parents. Worked like his butt off, turned it into his uh, like an online business, and and freaking killed it. But he's a pretty inspirational speaker. I like him. Wow! Someone mentioned him on the. Yeah, Gary oh. V. V. E. E. It's Vannerchuk or something like that. But. But good. I think you guys did a good job because I think Tim. You know, it's tough to get like it could be tricky getting detail into pieces in Illustrator, and we'll get there. Trust me. Um, but it's either flat. Like sometimes it's sometimes it sometimes seems like you end up with flat color and then gradients in Illustrator to a certain degree. But doing strands of hair and stuff is like another thing. That's um, why I think a lot of processing might be done in, in Photoshop. Hmm. I, 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 if I want that effect of like hair sometimes, um, what I'll do is just add, um, add a brush to like the surrounding edges. Okay. I might end up doing that. Yeah, for that's this. good. Yeah. That's a good call. <laughs> I'll literally go in and draw. It's actually even even in art school you learned that you're not ever drawing single strands of yeah. hair. Yeah. You're doing a block of bright and a block of dark and you block it out like that. And like you just yeah. said, maybe along the edge might be a little bit of hair that's kind of sticking out yeah. to give it that. Yeah, good call. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Laura. I don't know why it's not working. All right, let's go Kang. Got some new one from Kang Nguyen. I'll take a look at that in a second. And let me load up one more from Brittany. Brittany Trimble. Oh, that one's not loading up for some reason. So, uh, Brittany Trimble, if you're out there, if you could just double check your link, it looks like I don't, it's not quite loading, but I um, appreciate uh, you sending it our way. I do want to do a shout out on this one. This is from Kang Nguyen. Ah. Oh, I love how stylish your hair is. I can't control my hair. <laughs> no. Of course, you're I do. wearing it's all so, black. It's very much accurate. Um, so I forgot gel, hairspray, wax. I forgot anything. Chrome. Really? Yeah, really? I forgot everything. <laughs> what, yeah. You and were like. And it's raining, so the frizz just. Whoosh, <laughs> I can't. I can't control well, it. Well, you're still, still on point to me. <laughs> I love. I must say. I love that though. That like. It's like tennis, so stylish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. Good job. I need to go buy a comb. <laughs> I could probably fix that for you. <laughs> All right, if you mind, can you switch to me uh, real fast? I'll try to get this. Now, can you look straight? Look straight ahead at the camera. Okay. I'm trying. What to, are you doing? I'm, I'm adding your hair. Look, there, there you are. See? I'm putting your. Oh. <laughs> now look straight at the camera. Bingo! Nailed it. I can't see it though. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can't, but it actually works. 
That's really funny. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. If I only had shapes that just like walked behind me, <laughs> that would be I can great. give you a hat. I can do all sorts of things. <laughs> Look out. Good job. Who was the artist? That was uh, Nguyen. Kang Nguyen. Great job, Kang. Mm -hmm. I like it. Thank you, Brittany, for resubmitting your link. Appreciate that. So, Yanarius, Lisa, uh, looks like you're, it's your first time here. Welcome. Good to, mm -hmm. good to have you here, my friend. Welcome. I wonder what time it is there. It must be like uh, pretty early in the morning. So, thank you so much. <laughs> the Gusbot 5000 is back. Oh, I love Gusbot. Oh, I have two more to show. Yeah? Yes. I'd like to see. Oh, wow. Are break. these both from Coley Lind? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This is from Brittany. We'll review Brittany's. Thank you so much for resubmitting this, Brittany. Can we just Whoa. talk about how dope that is? Wow. She really got the, um, the yeah. texture. Yeah. I didn't know that you could really see that on the screen. Yeah. Look That's at that. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. And the gold of... Yeah. That's really cool. Good yeah. good color choice. Like, great doing that with a border, rounded corners. Yeah, the strokes just like yeah. indicate the, the hair. Oh. Very nice. Very Great nice. job, Brittany. Yeah. So glad you mm -hmm. received I got one more here. Hold on. Uh, this next one is nice, too. This is from Coley. Space. Yes, Coley Lind. We got two in space. <laughs> I love the eyeballs. The... <laughs> They're just like, uh, um, they remind me of Adventure Time when, when the characters get really excited, their eyeballs oh, all just yeah. turn like, Black. it's just like pupil <laughs> yeah. dilated. It's so cute. See, freaking <laughs> mad, mad talent here. This is really yeah. good. Like, I'm thoroughly impressed. I like that they uh, put me in the space theme. Yeah. I, yeah. You like that? Because <laughs> you you showed up today. You're like, wait a minute, everybody's yeah. doing space. Yeah. I, would, I didn't uh, know. <laughs> it could be. I mean, tomorrow we have more additions to it. Tiana says it's loves it. Uh, yes. Christopher Reed loves it, too. So thank you so much. So feel free, guys. Uh, just um, it's that contest tab is what we're talking about. Just create an avatar, just basically draw somebody on the stream today. Somebody with mad style. Bam! What? What? Who needs hairspray or gel or what? It looks good! I, just... I don't know. Actually... Look, everybody. Go ahead, do your screen capture now. This is where you get like your reference photo. You gotta look up and smile. Act like you're here. Smile. <laughs> Thank you. That's funny. Yeah, very cool. Hmm, let's see how that's looking. <laughs> Tim's giving you an 11 out of 10. I give her. And by the way, this is looking really, really fantastic too. Me. Or yeah, no, oh. I think this is really cool. <laughs> you know? Oh, thank you. Oh. That you were talking about uh, no. one of the news. Just if I say it's looking really cool, just assume I'm talking about your work. Mm. Is safe. That's a safe bet. How, How about that for flattery? <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> so yeah, we're going here for a little bit. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh yeah, we have about an hour. Just FYI. Okay. Doing uh, fantastic. Letting me know. Thank you. Yeah, just a little, little heads up. 
and uh, welcome Matthew from DC Maryland area I was there for Thanksgiving Come here. Oh. it's getting hot in here yeah oh yeah have you saved yet no <laughs> <laughs> thank you Tim lifesaver Hey, Voodoo Val, um, yeah, let's do some giveaway. We'll do a high, we'll do uh, a little giveaway. Yeah. So I'm good. You continue to do your thing. Just let us know if there's somebody at the end of your keyboard, preferably you, because we want you to win. Potentially, we have three prints to give away. These are the fantastic prints you can see. Uh, yeah, right above Marley, that's Rob Zilla's piece. He did it on the live stream. Jing Wei, who's another Brooklyn. Uh, resident as mm. well, and then Christine Heron, who's right over here, there, and uh, who's a creative resident actually. Oh, by the way, can I mention? Speaking of creative residents, what is a creative? Just resident? do do a search for Adobe Creative Residency. Um, I think in February. I don't correct like I'm not exact on the dates, but we will be opening up uh, an Adobe Creative Re Creative Residency for um, 2018. So essentially, we'd take someone like yourself, yeah, and we'd give you the funds to pursue whatever you want for a Whoa. year. What? Yeah. So you'd pitch a project. Wow. You'd like, I want to do, I want to do X. Yeah. You know, and Christine did this awesome. She was really big into. She's a graphic designer, big into travel. So she's putting together these like travel logs and stuff. Um, but you pitch a project, show your portfolio. You could get selected. Wow. And then you get to pursue your passion project. Thank you so much, Adobe Live team. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. You could get list, at least get on the list to get notified um, when it does open. A newsletter. <laughs> yeah, and Ryan, so Ryan Ford, by the way, like we give you the funds to. We do give you funds, and I'm not saying it's. I don't know what your bills are like, by the way. <laughs> so, but typically we kind of cover things for you. We're going to do the drawing in 30 seconds, so let us know if you're here. It would be great to say, hey, what's up? Nice hair, Marley. Y you don't need <laughs> no hairspray. <laughs> oh, hairspray's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be good for the environment. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's not. I, I've been, like, using less and less product these days. Yeah? I just don't really put anything in. I think if you get, as a guy, if you get a good haircut, you don't need a lot of junk in it. Hopefully, mm. am I right? I don't know, right? No oh, good, right? If you get a good haircut. You know what I'm saying? We're talking haircuts and stuff, you know. I um But let us know if you are in the chat and we'll do a giveaway here in a second. Just say something in chat. Mm -hmm. I I've had uh I've had blue hair. I've had no? green hair. I had my entire hair green. And I don't like the color green, but I, I did it. Huh. Um I've had pink. I've had every color except for red. And I have, I've had it white as well. Um, really? Yeah. White is tough because you seriously have to bleach the bleach. Yeah, it, yeah. Like, it no didn't tomorrow. feel so good, but it looked good. Ooh. Pretty. All right. Winding down the, the GusBot 2000, who selected the winner after a thorough research of our winner. Uh, congratulations, Yashai Sutton. Yashai Sutton. Yashai I'm, Sutton. We're going to show it in chat. Uh, but if that is you, just say thank you, because we're going to give you three fantastic prints that are shown right behind us. Created in Illustrator mostly, except that maybe the one on the left might have done in, been done in um, Adobe Illustrator Draw. Congratulations, Shai Congrats. Sutton. Are you, there you are. Thank you, my friend. How do you select? It's a it's a, the Gus Bot five thousand really. So we go do we do thorough research, background checks, everything. Ah. We all sorts of things. It <laughs> gets, gets crazy. Um, otherwise it's it's just pretty random. And whether they like your hair. Oh. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Yeah, Brittany Trimble. So Adobe Illustrator draws uh, basically a mobile app. You can get it, download it for iPad or Android, and it draws, you can create in vector. And I love, if I had it, I mean, I don't have time to open it up, but the strokes kind of animate on. As you draw them, they kind of grow. So if you press longer, you can kind of see yeah. the line grow. It feel, it's really fun drawing is all I have to say. 
But I know Robzilla, I've seen him draw with a reference photo, just like you do. Yeah. You're doing from a reference sketch. Mm -hmm. He'll do a photo back there and just kind of draw over it and start filling in the colors and everything, so. Um, I think when, when I'm doing something really small, I, I begin to notice uh, that it's uh, it's kind of like lagging. So I Oh, a to, little delay in there? Yeah, so I have to check and it's it's because it's on Snap of Snap oh, to Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't notice it if I'm working big, but right now I'm doing an eyebrow and it's really tiny. So oh, okay. when it starts lagging like that, it's because it's snapping to snapping whatever. Snapping to yeah. pixel. Yeah. Okay. So I have to make sure I remove that. Yeah, good point. So if anyone is doing details and is, seems to have like problems with um, turning, uh, with curving, it might be that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. And that's good stuff. Um, oh, by the way, I do want to point out really fast. I mean, as you're working on this... I do know that um, this is pretty new. Let's go into, give me one second. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, this is pretty new, but we basically, I wanted to point out that in Illustrator, you can go to help and you could submit a bug or feature request. This is, oh. this uses, Adobe user voice. So this is where you can see and give feedback, log bugs, submit feature requests as well. So as you guys have uh, feature requests, for instance, uh, you can see them in here. I do, I was reading one the other day that where they talk about increasing the size of the strokes. So you can select points easier. What if those points were larger and easier to select? Oh. You know, so it's little yeah, things that like be, that. Could be really helpful. Yeah. And the cool thing is like you might submit a re uh, feature request. Those get upvoted. Mm. Trust me, we look at this stuff. You'll see plenty of people from Adobe, you know, chatting on these forums and everything, so. Yeah. Oh, did I miss a, did we miss a question? We would show you the Gus bot, but it actually takes up a whole separate room. The whole thing is like the size of a, <laughs> a 1970s computer. Lots of knobs and I think it's steam powered. No, I don't know. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> Big ol' What's going on over here? <laughs> sure, we could be developing software instead. We have a huge machine that just picks a random winner. <laughs> that just takes up half of the headquarters, really. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, Elisa? Mm -hmm. We, um, you don't need to keep the, any sort of style for it, the, the contest at all. Again, it just needs to be an, an avatar. So take anybody that was on the stream today, digital representation of them. Ooh. But I think they get influenced by watching you because I think that one that we saw earlier was largely blue and had your yellow glasses. Oh. And I noticed you took off your glasses. Oh, I did, yeah. Like, like here and there, I'll like put them in and out, in and out. They're not really. They're not real, are they? They're not real, no. Look, there's no, there's, <laughs> there's not even any glass in them. Look, there's not even any glass. They're just frames. That is the worst when they're people wear glasses that are just not, See? like, they're not even prescription glasses. If I could, I wish yeah, I didn't have to wear them. They kind of, they hurt me a little bit. Yeah, they, they're, it's bad. <laughs> hmm. Deciding on the jawline, how how narrow I want it. I'm interested in in figuring out how you're going to do this because you you Tempo. obviously have this outside of those lines. Oh, so I tend to. I'm sure, and you can show hey, me. No I am sure way. that that there is a simpler way to do this, but I tend to just grab both objects and then I go on Pathfinder and then yeah. divide. I pick oh, that. Do. Okay, divide. And but you, I, you have to duplicate that head first, right? No. And then I just copy it, and then I go back. And then <sighs> I paste it where it was. That's really clever. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you guys see what she did. So um, Justin would do the same thing, but he'd mm -hmm. duplicate the shapes and then do the, you know, the subtract or intersect. Yeah. 
but she would actually not even duplicate. She actually just does the subtract, copies the object, and then does an undo, yeah. and do, then pastes it. I, I do that like every every other minute. Yeah. Like when for, when were you gonna share that with us? You just oh, gonna keep it. I, I just already, trying to keep it a little professional. I did it a couple of times little, already. <laughs> keep an edge over everybody here. I'll do it again. <laughs> Well, and I think just because you're you did the undo and everything, and when the things are on top of one another. So let's see. Um, here. Erin Gallagher, another amazing illustrator, does the same thing. She'll yeah. do, she'll well she'll do the duplicate, but again you could just do the minus front and then just copy it and then do an undo. So either way, whatever works. So right now I just want to get like a give a three dimension to the the head, um, and I, I kind of shaded that. Uh, I indicated this, that I wanted to do that in mm -hmm. the uh, in the sketch, just like with my pencil out there, knowing where I want the shadow to really be focused on. So I'm doing that now with the shape. And then I'll just grab, again, both of them, and then divide yeah. it, select that one, copy, copy it, it, go then... back. Oh, whoops, and, then, and then just paste it right exactly over it. The sometimes what I find that um, so I might um, I, I, I like to go back, uh, mm -hmm. so I can precisely paste it where where the shape that I divided it from is. Yeah, and what you could do is you could do a shift. You can do a instead of Command V, you can do a Shift Command V, and shift it will command. paste in place. Oh. Command B. Which you have to admit, I think just paste in place really should just be the default. Because mm. how often do you really need a paste in center? Does it does it do it in the center? Is that usually what it... or off center or something like that? Mm. So, yeah. Thank you, Ahmad. Control Shift V. Smart man. <laughs> Oh, Command F will do it too. I haven't done Command F. Hold yeah. on, let me try that. I like how everyone just shares their like little secrets here. Uh, copy. Yeah. Oh, I did not know Command F will paste in place too. Command F. So Shift Command V or Command F will paste in place. So if I copy this. Same thing, and then Rebecca. Shift Command V? Did that just? Yeah, it should paste in place, yeah. And even if you do a copy and yeah. then Command F is the equivalent of doing the shift command. I'm gonna, I have to, um, I have to rewatch these videos <laughs> to like listen to all the, these new shortcuts that I'm, I'm learning. That's good. Ooh, Joey took it to the next level. He says if you do a, a Command B, Command. will paste in place mm -hmm. behind like either the object or objects there. I haven't oh, tried that behind. yet. behind. I can see that being extremely useful. Yeah. Command B. Wow. Let's see. How wow, Rebecca. Good. Thank you. Okay. So, and that, oh, Yuri just kind of, <laughs> thank you for dumbing it down for me. Cause he's like, command F is for, for paste in front. Command B is for pa pasting oh, behind. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for dumbing down for us. Thank you. Like, when's when are you gonna live stream? <laughs> like, we're learning a lot. I'm like learning a lot. This is fun. So, contest still going on. By the way, just select the contest tab. We're gonna give away a Creative Cloud for a year. Just create an avatar in Illustrator. We'll review those as we've been doing throughout the day. But the contest will end in about fifteen or so minutes. Just fixing that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll take a look at our Mondos. Sorry, Armando, I think I might have skipped yours accidentally. I, I apologize. Oh, 
Yeah, oh wow, I don't know how I missed that, but that's super cool. I like that. <laughs> I like those colors. You're welcome. Armando, I did see yours. Armando Mello, super cool. We'll share that in a second. Um, I've been thinking a lot about getting a stand-up desk for my little studio nook. Because, because of that, do you do you use this stand? How do you do with no. like your back? I usually am like this. This is me. I start out like this at the beginning of the day. By the end of the day, I'm like this. Oh, I can't see. I can't do this. I end up more like going forward. By the end of the day, I'm just like my head is like yeah. right in the in the monitor. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, Dana likes the stand-up desk. Yeah. So yeah, kind of curious. Uh, Juan Camilo, let me see. Yeah, Juan Camilo, uh, we might have some issues with it, so we'll we'll check it out. Uh, Katharina, we got yours. Sarah Tester, taking a look at yours now. I got to open all of these up. Oh, we're getting a little. Wow. Do I need to censor this one? I don't I know wish, what to say. I wish I was in the tropics. <laughs> oh. Tiana likes the stand up desk too. Mm. All right, so how am I going to do this? Time to pick a winner? Not yet. Oh, not yet. I'm trying to get some of these narrowed down. Okay. All right, let's just kind of click through some of these, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Yeah, we could switch to me. Uh, Katharina's. I like this. There you are, Aww. Marley. Blues Fantastic. as well. I like that. Oh, she got my, my blush. I worked hard on the blush. I like the shading here too, just like the little. Mm -hmm. sh you it know. just gives it like some dimension here. Yes. Thank you so much, Mohammed. He loves your work. So thank you so much, Katharina. Thank you. Juliana. Oh, we looked at Juliana's. Tiana's. Here's Tiana's. She just submitted this one. Oh, Let's that's really cool. Out. What's happening in the background there? The, uh, the lens lighting? flare. I, I haven't done one of those. That definitely looks. So there's lens flare and Illustrator. There's one in Photoshop. This looks like the one from Photoshop. But I like it. Very cool. Thank you, Tiana. Next um, up, uh, I don't know. We already looked at this one, but she worked on the hair, so a shout out for her working on the shout hair. Shout out on the which strokes? It's not gray. <laughs> it's just a really, really light blonde. Uh, Armando, by the way, fantastic. That's, this one I skipped earlier. I apologize, but I love the color. Yeah. Yeah, it's I cool really color. like the color and the texture. If you magenta. notice. The texture in there, mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, it's having so, fun with color. Oh wow! Yeah, it's do you so see different. It? Oh yeah, so yeah. it is. It's actually red on this monitor, but um, a little bit more pink. Otherwise, Hasham. This might be Hasham. 
Uh, either way, it's cool. Yeah. And the little shapes in the background really adds to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it like glamorous. It is pretty fun. Um, yeah, so I think, let's see if, did I get Sarah's? Oh yeah, here's Sarah te Sarah's, Sarah Tester. <laughs> Tropical. Tropical Marley. I wish, <laughs> I wish. And that's funny because uh. my favorite earrings are big sun earrings I wear. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and I, I like to wear them mostly during the winter, I think. It looks like you just applied sunblock to your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. But it's great, yes. Sunblock people, wear sunblock. Yeah. And call your mother. That's my, <laughs> my advice for you. Uh, let me see, just make sure that Natalia. Oh yeah, we already got this. So yeah, that's yeah. that's it for now. I'll just kind of double check all of these. So. Speaking of uh, moms, I was just talking to my mom on the on the uh, on the phone right before the stream, and um, it's so funny. I didn't know this. Um, she she she's my number one fan, so she's always googling me. Oh, she is. <laughs> yeah, she is. And then the other day, I think she just wanted to YouTube me, and then she said, Marley, why are there links, three links to about you and your work, but I can't click it, and it's saying, oh. Um, uh, stay tuned until January. Uh, I think this these uh -huh. dates. Yeah, yeah and I'm nice. like, oh, mom, that I think that's for the the event. I'm gonna go do at Adobe. She let me know that, that was up. I I had no idea. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. found. Yeah, she's <laughs> you. So out funny. And about. She's the one that lets me know <laughs> if there's. <laughs> she so I don't really need a Google alert because mm -hmm. she'll just like. She is your your personal Google alert. Yeah, she'll let me know. Hey, I what like is this it. about? <laughs> and I have to translate everything to her because she doesn't speak English. That's pretty awesome. I think she's watching now. Is she really? Yeah, she Which messaged mom's me. Name? Marley. <laughs> oh, Marley? <laughs> yeah, my mom's name can is you, Marley. Can you tell your mom? But she's, she's, she, she, she doesn't speak English, but she no. understands English. Uh, a bit, a bit. So, yeah, do you think she'll answer chat if you say, "Hey, mom, can you say hi in chat?" No, I don't she think she really do. knows how to. I don't think she knows how to chat. Well, like, <laughs> well, Marley. Just, hi, Ma mommy. mom, Marley. Hi, mom, Marley. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. That's awesome. <laughs> she probably has no idea what's going on. She's yeah. gonna ask me to like watch it She's with like, her how and you, then translate. Were you ac were you accessing my webcam? How did you know? <laughs> how did you know I was there? What is going so on? <laughs> I do not yeah. trust technology. If there's anything like my mom, she'd be like, I do not trust it. You know Alexa's always listening to you. <laughs> right? <Alexa. laughs> She's funny. always listening to you. She knows more I, about you than because uh, it's boring. I can picture her. Um, so she's a chef. So she's oh. probably, she probably has it up somewhere and she's cooking. Oh, okay. Yeah, just listening. Nice. Ah, oh, very cool. Oh, man. Hmm. I'm kind of trying to get these kind of narrowed down to uh, some of the top finalists, if you will. So, Marley, Marley, and me. That's Marley. what the W Live team says. Excuse me. And we have about 40 more minutes. All right, how are we doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Why didn't they love that wow. pink? Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, can we show this one? This is from Rebecca Guerrero. I oh, hope man. you're watching because this is fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And the glasses, like the the gradients on them. Mm hmm. And the, the so earrings. Beautiful. Yeah, the, um, as you said, you like sun earrings, yeah. is what you mentioned a little bit yeah. ago. I'll wear them. I, I don't know if I brought them, but I, if I did, I'll probably wear them tomorrow. Very cool. Yes, thank you. Good pointing that out. Tiana pointed out just the gradient on the skin, which is just very subtle. I think go with gradients, but I like it when it's done pretty subtly. It's mm -hmm. very, works out very well. Yeah, yeah, we're getting more in. Layla's, Daniel's. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, t -t 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 -t. <sighs> yeah, this one does. Good point. So um, Yosef mentions that this this does this is more detailed than the one you did yesterday. It's just yeah. a little bit more involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed you it. have the, you know, you have the reference mm -hmm. um, shirt to the side. Um, wow. How did they There's do that no so way. quickly? I don't know. Oh wait, wait, wait. that's that's a that's a, uh, a photo mm. I have. Uh, it's my self portrait. I, oh okay. I have a portrait of. Oh my god. But what? Has, so can you? Yeah, can you? And actually, you could go ahead and show this too. So it kind of started with one of your pieces, yeah. and then um, he added to this. And so I, this is from uh, one. One of my favorite themes is just to like make these portals into like a sky, mm -hmm. sky world. That's amazing. That's really cool. But and so this is so this isn't necessarily original. But what was added? Or you tell me. Can you talk us through this? Um, I think if you go to my my uh, my Behance, uh, the photos there. Mm -hmm. um, so the the portrait is of myself, but they were very selective as to what colors they would use, and they added glasses and. Uh, the top, they, they removed the top of my head okay. and created that portal and the, the staircase and the uh -huh. purse. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be me as well. Yeah, and why not? an airplane. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. <clears throat> so this is really cool. Yeah, yeah, that is. And by all means, like, it's kind of cool if you do, you know, add a add it as a Behance project. You can uh, obviously add any comments that you want. So the more information, the better. Which is fantastic. I got a couple more here, actually. Real fast, we have, oh, this is uh, Denise, D-E-N-I-S-S-E. -S -S -E. That's fun. I like That's really that. That's, this is my yeah. favorite one so far of me. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you so much. You look like um, a, uh, a this news is, anchor. This is, this, is how, this is how I envision myself typically. <laughs> Just smile and be like, hey, what you got there? That looks like fun. That's me normally. This is from Daniel Newman. Um, <laughs> I this is really cool. I I wouldn't want to run into this Marley down a dark alley, but it's oh it's I, I I didn't intense. recognize it in at first. Wait, so it's, it's yeah that? yeah and then they flipped it yeah upside down and then wow flipped it upside down and. That's cool. This is almost like a voodoo piece, yeah. like we talked earlier. Yeah, 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 a whole voodoo theme. Wow. Space voodoo theme today. Space voodoo. I like it. Thank you so much. That's pretty cool, Daniel Newman. Let's go to Layla Rap. And, oh, I love the yeah. eyes. Yeah. It's just a very kind. Oh, I'm, I'm getting it. So I was like, oh, wow, people 
are really getting my like the color that I wear and the the uh, sun earrings and it's from um, it's the it's the only photo I really use with my online. like profiles yeah online. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay, I guess good, people good. are like getting inspired yeah inspired gotcha by. so that's where it can yeah, be uh, yeah, having yeah. have the picture floating around with the sun yeah wow yeah. this is fantastic though yeah too Layla awesome and then Rebecca Guerrero's from yeah. earlier this should be the same picture as I click in it so oh so Daniel's Daniel Newman is supposed to be an ambigram of a porg so if you flip it upside down it is uh, also you and a porg as well what is a porg porg is the uh, I don't know what is what is a porg it's, a Star Wars character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it's the furry little uh, Star Wars character ah, okay. with the we, adorable eyes we were having yeah adorable we're having Porg a discussion Nation. about this. Rise up. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rise up. <laughs> Do you know Porg. that about Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> I drew I did a Porg um, emoji on a stream once. Like last last week. What um It's a penguin. Oh yeah, it's like a it's a it's a it's like a penguin ish. And are they are they under some are they under the? I, I don't really know what's no, happening. No, they're just they're on this island and they kind of jump around and they're just like really cute furry creatures. They're oh. kind of like they feel like they move like penguins and have adorable eyes. So they're like not really involved white. in the fighting. Do uh, I don't want to give anything away. Oh, okay. Um, so I can't say either way, but gotcha. Oh, like a puffin. Oh, good. Thank you, Mitch Smith. Like a lot like a puffin, adorable like that. <laughs> yeah, we have a. Looks like we have a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, not necessarily a spoiler, but uh, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't. At, at what point is it not a spoiler? Is it a month, Voodoo Val? Like, or is it? You should always reference that you have a spoiler coming. I assume. Like I don't know. Like I just don't think you should talk too much about it unless. Yeah. I'll have to go check out the film. I haven't had time to go to the theater these days. Star Wars, it's two months. Voodoo Val's our resident authority on Star Wars here. <laughs> so we just, I just defer to her for all these big... <laughs> so, yes, there we go. <laughs> so, Yashai, I will look and see if... Ooh, I, gotta get, I got work to do. Pork Nation. Pork. Sounds like pork. I, yeah, I'm not sure if pork is really the best word for how adorable they are, because pork sounds like Borg, which sounds like they should be like a robot. But either way. Damn. I'm also not that invested either way. <laughs> oh. Right? Mm -hmm. oh, don't, are you looking? Are you I, looking? Yeah. Are you cheating? Just kidding. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'll load up a couple more. We'll do another round. Um, it is... Uh, we have about 20 minutes. And these illustrations or avatars just keep getting better. And they were good to begin with, so... Thank you so much, Ryan and Sean and Daniel. Uh, Chandler, you've been with us the past two days, and I think you just you just do amazing work. You were the first to win, I think, the print on the first day, and just oh, cool. appreciate your work. Oops. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. You are just like... A source of, you are a source of inspiration for people. Okay, some of these links might not be working. Hmm, I wonder 
to hide this. Uh, Alyssa. All right, Jason. Pretty good for this round. Let's see where I left off. All right, let's start with this one, uh, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Uh, this is by Alex Aranda. Fantastic. I think they're yeah. totally taken off of your color scheme. Yeah. And this one also kind of has a space feel to it, mm -hmm. which I like. So that was Alex's. Um, oh, wow. This should be, I don't know if this is Daniel's. Let me check. And the complimentary, they're working with that as well. I yeah, just talked see. about that. There we go. So I actually don't have a name associated with this one. But again, an entirely different style. Absolutely you know, like awesome and beautiful. Love it. Love the, it very much. The shadow happening in the cheeks. Really pumping yeah. everything out, yeah. That is good. <laughs> uh, Matthew Alexanders, again, just kind of leaning forward and uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah. Oh, I luscious, like the luscious lips there. Yeah, you're like, lips, <laughs> you're into it. I like this one too. Oh, that's fun. Wow. Yeah, this it's should be Daniel's. It's kind of like my, my sketches. Yeah. How I go about them. Uh, like this one stands out just as an entirely different style, which mm -hmm. is cool. It kind of has like a whole 70s vibe to it. Mm -hmm. They threw, they thought you needed a necklace. So they threw <laughs> a necklace in there. Sure, I do that. need one. <laughs> uh, this is, oh, should be cons. Sean's. Oh my God, they put, they put a comb in it. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're killing me. It's <laughs> so funny. I know. <laughs> Great stuff. Oh, so. I like that they put my birthmark in it. Both birthmarks. Oh, wow. That's yeah. very observant. And that should be Sean's. Yep. Sean Parsons. Uh, next up, Ryan Dorans. Ooh. The Bling. Said, hey, you want, Bling. you like some lens flares? Here's some. <laughs> here's some. Let's bedazzle you a little bit. Uh, Chandler's again, like I said, Chandler's been with us. Blush. I really like this. Yeah, it's very subtle, like the. Mhm. Mm yeah. The smoothness nice. of it, yeah, and the grading in the back. Yeah, very subtle and it totally works. This is the one also too. Thank yeah. you, Joseph Atwood. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, and as well, like the, what's going on with the. Yeah, that's a yeah, I like your. I do like your uh, your sweater. Okay. Uh, this one, Alyssa. Let's see if I can open this up. This should be, I think this should be Alyssa's, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That works. I like um, Let me the just top lip check. is darker. I tend to, to always do that, the top lip being darker. Hey. Let me see there. Actually, this is this is Alyssa's. That might have been somebody else's that I downloaded a second ago. Uh, but this is definitely Alyssa's right here. So, yeah. Getting That's adorable. And it's in, in kind of like the style of... Um, oh, you the see what they session. did? Look what they did with the background. Oh. That's your illustration. Oh, yeah. The screenshot. Wow. Yeah. Level, leveled up. Mm -hmm. Super cool. I didn't um, recognize it. This is Jason Hernandez. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I love loose. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to uh, do a lot of um, blind contour drawings of people. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I think I saw some of them. Yeah, I looked at that one, looked at that one, and then uh, John Velton as well. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look at you. Look at me, there I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Marek, I'll check for your submission. And uh, Alyssa, great job. John, awesome, very cool. Thank you so much. I'm honored.
Looks like Matthew Alexander uh, added to his. What else we got? Well done, exactly. <laughs> Joanna Yeardley did a fantastic job. Katie Cohen did a great job too. Um, <sighs> Gandar got yours. I think Merrick's been asking. We did get yours in, and I must say, Merrick, it's looking fantastic. Appreciate you spending time on these. And I'm glad you guys are posting them to be hands because I, you know, it's the best place for the stuff to live on. Hmm. Yep. We are we are also just like working on Behance, which is also owned by Adobe and just kind of adding to it to make the whole experience your Adobe Live experience even better as we go along. All right, oh, this is gonna be the hardest yet, I must say. Uh, I'm cutting off the contest right now because I'm not gonna have time to go through all of these, but we're gonna go through them now. You ready for this? Am I ready? Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. Matthew Alexander. I think we saw this one earlier, Did right? We? I don't know, but it's like that similar angle, which is yeah. I'm wondering where well, that's, that's coming the portrait from. I was telling you about. Oh, it's the portrait. That's what's yeah. throwing me off. Okay. Yuri, I'll try to get yours. Michelle, thank you so much. There's so many good ones here again. Thank you, Malex uh, Matthew Alexander. Good use of the background. Very cool. This is Joanna Yardley's as well. Let me just view this. Oh, wow. A little better. It, it looks like. um. It reminds me of like Bratz, Bratz dolls, do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do know Bratz <laughs> dolls. There we go. You look, you look kind of mean there a little bit, <laughs> like. It's the, it's the, the eyebrows. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't mess hey. with me. <laughs> Katie Cohen's, I like it. Oh, it's yeah. very much like smiley, but also very all muted dark colors. Very cool. Whoa. Yeah, I am wearing like wow. a super pink shirt, so this kind of is a good representation. Gendar, thank you so much. I think <coughs> that's me. Uh, this oh, is, cool. Merrick was asking, it's like, hey, where's mine? And again, fantastic job. I like how they switched from the shirt to the um, the hair, the texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really Throwing cool. Throwing those lines in. Very nice. Yeah, the gradients all in them. Yeah. Uh, this... This should be Jesse's. The, the it reminds me of my background of my desktop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it totally came does. From that. And you can see it's like that paper cut, so it's yeah. like a little bit of a shadow. Well done. Oh, it does remind me of paper cut. Uh, hey, it's Ecuador. Oh, the Ecuador flag. Yeah, it's the Ecuadorian flag. Oh, very flag. cool. Yeah, and they added space theme to this it too. should be from Miriam, with the space theme. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well wow, played. Wow, all out. Oh, cool. This is from Adrian Tchaikovsky. Yeah. That's really cool. Yes, And the very cloud beautiful. theme continues. Yeah. I love clouds. Yeah, very cool. And then we also have uh, Yuri's. Oh, wow. You're killing me, Yuri. This is good. Yeah, it's really beautiful. <laughs> That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. All right, yeah. so what time is it? Yeah, it's, we've cut off the contest. I'm stopping with Yuri's. Uh, I'm gonna get these narrowed down and you need to pick a favorite. And I don't, well, I mean, we can do it together. I'll get yeah. these narrowed down. Um, Please narrow them down. Yeah, me. I've been keeping the ones where I feel like you've really responded to. And the one that I think are nice. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Juan Camilo. <sighs> yeah, 
yeah, it's next level for a lot of these. It's really cool. Um, yes, great work. Oh, I forgot. What was that, uh, that shortcut to paste in place? We uh, just learned that one today. Command F for front. Ah. I love that. Boom. Yeah, I just used it. Thank you, team. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. Picking a favorite. I'll try to get it down to 10, because we only have like five minutes left. Oh, you ready for this? Picking a, a favorite? Yeah. That's hard. Wait, hold, hold on one second. How many did you So, and Sarah's up next. Sarah Bell just wandered in. Today, the contest is all about avatars. So basically, Marley's been drawn for the past hour and a half, and we have about 15 illustrations to move through. <laughs> and uh, yeah, can we do that? Uh, yeah. First of all, can we just show this full screen? This is super awesome. We're going to see this more tomorrow as we kind of refine this and add mm -hmm. to it, which is super cool. Very cool. Yeah, getting there. I'll get to the plants tomorrow and in addition to the background. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's take a, kind of take a look at these. Just again, this is kind of review from the past past hour. Uh, Coley's super yeah. sharp, right? I mean, the That's detail really that goes cool. in this the, one. The space theme. Yeah, yeah, which meant a lot to you. I thought this was this was pretty cool. Good yeah. use of color. Thank you, Brittany. I thought mm -hmm. this one was with the texture is pretty cool. Um, this one is nice. I think these are the colors in yeah. your portfolio largely on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, Tim did this one. Good Tim. job, Tim. Tim. Good stuff. Tropical Marley, <laughs> hey, you know, kind of appealing to the fact that we'd love to see some sun. Oh, that's I don't, really beauty. Yeah, this one's beautiful. I don't mm -hmm. have a name associated with this one. This one's fantastic. Good use of color. Yeah. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah, tell me how hard this is. Look at that cheekbone. I huh. wish. Mm. Uh, that one's similar to... So they're basically referencing the same photo, yeah, which yeah. is why they have the same angle. Uh, this is because you That's wish funny. that you would have brought some, like, a comb or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is super cool, too. Uh, Ryan Doran. Pretty cool. Boing. This one's fantastic. Joseph Atwood. Yashai, uh, if we didn't get to yours, don't worry, we'll get to the, the next hour, but we probably got a good 50 or so submissions. Wow. Um, uh, uh, Elisa did both of us with the actual picture in the background, mm -hmm. which I think that was a good move. This one's cool because it's super unique, yeah. so it stands out. This is, again, I like the background, but it's like the third one we've seen in that style. Um, and then obviously this one don't here. Lie. So you can see. Yeah. Again, this one's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Merrick. In it. Oh. Ecuador yeah. flag and hey you like space let's throw that in there you do like clouds <laughs> I do so we're going through these uh, shout out again this is super cool here's Yuri's here in the end so yeah. what are you thinking um, Hector you liking these Yuri um, they're all super cool yours is awesome did you have a favorite that stuck out as I went through them I mean I do what is your favorite? well I really like this one. Yeah, I think that might be my favorite too. It might be your favorite. Yeah, it's mm. just the gradient. And I, I like that they included some of the gradient of the background to mm -hmm. it. So it looks like reflection. On yeah. It. yeah. I mean, this is really dope. Yeah. So hopefully everybody can agree, Mark, Cedric, not to take anything away from any of the others. Yeah, yeah. This is an great. impossible task yeah. on a short deadline. But you have to admit, Americ. Congratulations, buddy. Let's give it to Merrick. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. Merrick. The shapes of the hair and everything. Yeah. Fantastic job. Beautiful yeah. colors. Your color scheme. Yeah. But it's super, really super tough. Like. Thank you. <laughs> just in awe. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. The the banks. Is yeah. Look yeah. at that. Everything like just, has dimension and yeah, yet is still flat. It's very flat, but there's mm -hmm. so much dimension. And it. it and it still follows. It's true to like being an avatar, which is nice. So, really Merrick, cool. thank you so much for being with us. Oh, by the way, and let me just point out, Merrick doesn't even have an avatar. He said, you know what, I'm going to draw Marley's avatar before <laughs> I even give myself an avatar. What a good man. You deserve it. You get one year creative yeah. cloud. 
Sarah Bell's up next. This is super fun. We're doing well on time. I guess we got a yeah. two minutes oh. or so. That's like about that. right. Three minutes. Oh, we got three minutes. We have three minutes. Can I just wow. revel in all these? <laughs> awesome. 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 Beautiful. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> I like Jason. How the, Jason Hernandez's. Really the circles cool. going on with the earring and the. Um, mm hmm. It's a very glasses. 70s loose feel mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, there was like another one that had like a really set attention to detail to it. here. Thank you, Alyssa. Yeah, we can go on and on. This <laughs> one was really striking. When I opened up this one, I was like, "Wow." Yeah, that was really good. From Joseph Atwood. Yeah, the the angle and all. Yeah, super cool. Hmm. <laughs> I like how once you got the comb, your hair got really poofy. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That happens. Depends on how I. How I use it. Yeah, Cedric, can you believe it? Like, these are, <sighs> yeah. How fast people work, I, how fast people work. This is the yeah. fastest I've ever had to work with the, yeah. with my like own drawing here. Yeah. I, it takes, takes some time. Well, it looks really good. And I think just that you added that nice gradient in the background. Yeah, and the this gradient is a over. Nice, this gives a, a nice feel. There's a couple, I, I tend to use a lot of gradients over. This is what I was mentioning earlier. There's several gradients over mm. the whole piece. I don't... Very cool. Yeah. It, it just makes it very like atmospheric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully that's okay, Gus. Did we do pretty good on the number of entries? <laughs> okay, good, Yay. good. I, you can never give these too much time, any of these entries. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can mm -hmm. we can talk about each one of these. So thank they, you so much. They have, the during the whole session, the two hours to, to make something. Yeah, more like an hour and a half. But yeah, oh, they wow. like see you. They see what you're wearing. They get to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one was really Oh, cool. Alyssa, thank you so much. And everybody who did the submission. At some point, we're going to have actually a whole gallery where we can showcase oh, cool. a lot of these yeah. is the idea. So they don't, so they could really kind of, we can give them a, chance to shine but thank you so much everyone uh, did you have fun today I did you yeah. can come back tomorrow yeah I will yay be here she's coming back tomorrow yeah. of course she is <laughs> we're gonna build on this piece super fun tomorrow, well thank yeah. you so much Marley Gallardo me. follow her on Instagram Sarah Bell's up next with Kathleen yay. it's gonna be really fun <laughs> good be back in two minutes everyone fun. thank Bye. you